Oh, Canada, you shouldn't have. I mean, you really shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, they're mine now. <laughs> Fan brought them for me. <laughs> so, I just realized I've done this entire Canadian Expo film the whole time. I didn't once make fun of a Canadian for doing Canadian stuff. What's up with that, eh? I'm sorry. Ha! Oh, you blew out the microphone, I bet. Don't. So we're sitting here with Dave, Sky Lily, and uh, we're about to start the expo. This isn't the end of the expo, we're just starting the we second day. We are just day. starting. Starting the second day. Last night, some of us may have made, may, have made, may, may have made some like questionable choices, but luckily, some of us aren't going to judge the others. It's what stays in Toronto... Wait a minute. What happens... Let's go to the expo. <laughs> <laughs> Full disclosure, this is actually the end of the expo. I changed my shirt back. I forgot to put on deodorant this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my list. I'm going to try and go down it and make it down it, but I also, I just, I feel like I, there's something here that I, that's going to be just outstanding, better than the rest. I mean, I agree, but watch. Seek the out, the diamond, and the rock. Yes, Jaffa. We're here at Tales of Scales for our first victim of the day. And he's, oh, he's already out. Dragon Scale is really, yeah, Dragon So this is a banded Euro Mastic. They're uh, herbivores, so they only eat vegetation. They're from uh, North Africa. They uh, take a basking spot of around 130. Uh, need UVB, obviously, because they are uh, sort of a desert species. Uh, but yeah, super friendly, really nice with the black skin, really unique. And they have that sort of like pumpkin orange. You wanna hold them? Yeah, I, I do actually. I've never actually got to hold one of these guys before, so pretty freaking sweet, man. Look at this little guy, he's super friendly. I, they're not all friendly like this, are they? So they've been working with this guy for about five years, that's why he's nice. I still, I still get used to the claws. I mean, I'm so used to snakes all the time, and the claws make me like realize that <laughs> they're sharp and pointing things at other places than the mouth, but. So another thing that's really cool about these guys is uh, they'll actually go into like small caves and little crevices and they'll inflate their bodies up. Uh, so they sort of wedge themselves in and then they'll just sort of slap their tail around. So if little like dog, wild dogs or anything like that try to get it, it sort of smacks their nose and acts as sort of self-defense, which is why they have that spiky tail of theirs. Here at Monarch Reptiles, and I, there was this rough scaled sand boa that I want to show you guys. It was, it was huge and really cool looking, and I really wanted to show you, but that's the price you pay for making it down the list on the second day is that somebody came and bought it. But I did find something else really cool that they've got here. A spiel on this I don't game. really have a spiel for this guy, unfortunately. This is a really regular house snake, the olive house snake. Little buddy, uh, not a lot around. We had a pair of trio. Now we only have this little female alone. Don't see them very often, surprisingly. Beautiful snake, beautiful black snake. Gets a little, uh, about six, five, six feet, depending on the species. There you go. Pet Paradise and they've got red-eyed tree frogs, which are always really cool to see on camera, especially you get them walking. I mean, some of the most famous pictures of amphibians, I feel, are red-eyed tree frogs because they just look so good. Not just on camera, but in person too, so. You know, they're, they're one of the few ones that's captive red quite frequently, which is always nice too. They are very nocturnal, so unfortunately, a lot of their activities usually uh, at night, but we do find that in the store, after we spray them down, you just, the males come out and start croaking and uh, everyone starts moving around for a little bit. But yeah, when, when you see them on the glass, you just see green, and then when they wake up, you just see all that, their big red eyes, orange toes, and all those stripes and blue coloration along the sides there. 
we're here at Surly Snakes, and we got a world's first that he produced here, so I wanted to I wanted to show it to you guys. Here's a Hurricane Lesser HRA. The HRA influence, it made it almost look like a super with the swirls. Like, what was the pairing and stuff like? Uh, for this, it was a Hurricane Lesser that I brought in, and I paired it to a Red Exanthic female. So it's pretty easy to ID it, it's all HRAs. And I hit two, uh, I didn't hit two of these, but I hit one without Lesser. That's what I'm holding back, because uh, pretty much every Hurricane male I got has Lesser in it, unfortunately. If you have any questions, let me know. Oh, thanks, bro. I'm gonna put it on now. It's time for a wardrobe change. Sorry, Riley. <laughs> Reptiles concept, and they had the only Kribos I've seen at the show, so it was really cool to see some baby Kribos cruising around. This show actually is ending up to have a, quite a variety, which is why I ended up with such a long list and why we're doing two videos. Two days, but check this out. No, my English is bad. So. Oh no, you, you better than my French. <laughs> it's the uh, it's a really rare to have a yellow tail Kribo. The black tail sometimes we have, and uh, Mr. Indigo. So those two are are nice, but it's a a big color bird. Right, this next snake is at Port Credit Reptiles. Sorry, Dave's got me laughing really hard. We're at Port Credit Reptiles. Uh, so Grant Crossman owns this shop, and he's actually the one that puts on this entire expo, and he's the one that, that flew, uh, flew us out here to come and film the expo. So thank you, Grant. It's uh, been a great time, and I, I'd be open to doing this every year, just saying. I like it. It's fun. But there's so many animals on this table, it's hard to pick just one. And uh, But it, it ended up actually being pretty easy for me, so uh, check it out. So what we got here is a, why am I going backwards? What we got here is a Japanese rat snake. Over here at the Port Credit Reptiles booth. And this is the, this is the snake that stabs me. They have a lot of animals over here. And this rat snake is just the one that stuck out to me. And I'm going to fix my thing so that I stop moving backwards, okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to truly capture the amazingness of this animal right now on my camera because I'm having trouble with the focus. However, Dave Kaufman helped me film this animal too on his channel. So you got to go check out Dave's channel and he filmed me filming this snake. So you might be able to see it better on his channel than we're looking at it right now due to this extreme focus issue we're having. But I'm going to edit it out of my video so yeah, just you know, hit that like button on this video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep that whole laughing section in there. The whole part where we're just laughing uncontrollably. Snake, snake cruising through my hands. Laugh, laugh, laugh. It's too good. We don't have enough. I feel like we don't have enough. We had so many laughs, I don't have enough of them on camera. That one has to go in. Wardrobe change number two. Sorry, uh, Surly. <laughs> when was the last time you guys saw a reptile shirt this color? Hill, what do you think about this? Give me your honest mind. I know you're gonna love it. Dude, I, this, is, this is awesome, I'm right. To be fair, no, no wardrobe change is gonna, I, I can't change this shirt, sorry. <laughs> Just in case you guys were wondering where the idea for pear tree pythons comes from, Don's last name is Poirier, which is French, and it means pear tree. I think it's a good idea, and I think it looks great. Of course, one other thing about reptile shows is that people purchase reptiles. I've, I've, I've completely spaced this fact on this video, so I think we should show what Don picked up here. What'd you get, Don? This is a vanilla cream from uh, Mutation Creation. Speaking of Mutation Creation, you're probably wondering why I haven't filmed Billy's booth. Well, maybe you missed the video. I did a whole thing at Billy's place of what my favorite snakes were at his place. So if you missed that video, go ahead back and watch that. But we got lots of other places. And I'm sorry if I didn't come to your booth at the show. It's, it's hard to film every single booth at the show. I mean, and including a video. Just basically a time factor, really not even just like fitting into the video, it's more like having actual time to walk around, talk to everybody, which is a huge part of the shows for me, is talking with everybody. I mean, that's this is like a happy place to talk to people. We're all into the same stuff, and that's half of the show for me, is, is talking to the folks and uh, having that one-on-one -on -one time, putting the camera down, and uh, yeah, obviously, so. But there is a video that exists with all of my favorite stuff from Billy's Place. Just a couple videos back, I'll put the link right up there somewhere. We're here at 
starting out as global exotic pets and they, they do specialize in chameleons. However, what really caught my eye at their table was these little, um, sorry, we're here at Global Exotic Pets and they, they do specialize in geckos. However, what really caught my eye at their table was these chameleons, these little baby chameleons. So this is what I'm gonna have them show us. Oh, sorry, I thought, I thought you were filming him. <laughs> I know, if you just give me like 30 seconds about, just about him. Like oh, him. sure. Uh, little Camellio Calyptratus, Yemen Chameleon. Uh, these little guys are about four months old. Captive bred, beautiful pets. We like to keep them in vertical screen enclosures, a good linear UV light. 50 watt heat lamp is good for these guys. They love free flow ventilation cages. Fantastic display animals, beautiful pets. I like them because a lot of reptiles that we buy nowadays don't display well. Chameleons display nice, so. I enjoy them and I think others do too. Got my buddy Jim here. You guys watched the video where I put the helmet on with the retic <laughs> and all that stuff? Jim has successfully used that technique on yep. many animals. So <laughs> that was where the idea came from. And, but he also picked up this amazing rat snake. Is it possible to open it up? And uh, I haven't actually handled the snake yet. Sweet. First so, time ever. This is a captive bred Spoloides, tiger rat snake. And where are these guys from? Uh, they're from Central or uh, South America. And uh, there's a Mexican locale. Like there's the Mexicans, they look a little bit different. This one's actually captive bred here in Canada, so I'm not exactly sure where the uh, locality of the parents is. I'm sure he knows. <laughs> They're not often worked with, they're not often seen a lot. We're here at Reptile Plus and these guys have this insane, awesome cane toad. It's like the most amazing animal at this show, I think, for me. I'm gonna check it out. Look at this massive cane toad. They call them marine toad here. It's uh, you know, it's, it's uh, we call them a cane toad. It's the thing is that just that it's huge. It's amazing. Look at the size of this guy, and they get bigger than this. Can you imagine that? Freaking amazing, man! Look at it. This is so cool. I feel like I really need to find one of these for the educational shows because they're so cool. He's just letting me hold and hang with them, and these guys eat anything. These guys will munch on whatever and just grind it down. Look at the size of these guys, man. That is just one of the coolest amphibians. Definitely the coolest amphibian I've seen at the show, surely because of how big and awesome the size is. I'm making him a little uncomfortable, but what's up, buddy? Shake a look at that face. That's a face only a mother could love. I'm just kidding, bud. This guy's beautiful. Look at this guy, guys. Dude, he's amazing. Look at that eye. What a cool freaking animal, man. Look at those big poison sacks. <laughs> Like, please leave me alone, bro. I've, I've really grown a new appreciation. I've always really loved frogs and toads since I was a little kid. And recently I've just grown this brand new appreciation for them. Something about looking at them through the camera for whatever reason, just seeing their faces through the camera has given me this new appreciation for big frogs and toads. Again, it's really cool. I'm really enjoying it. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm going to leave you alone now. Well, we just finished a fantastic interview here with uh, Mr. Mark Mandick on Triple B TV. And I gotta say, like, I tear up about stuff here on the vlog a lot, but Triple B TV doesn't happen so much. It's kind of more of our professional interview channel. If you're not subscribed to Triple B TV, I recommend going down to the description and finding the link for it so you can check it out because possibly one of the better interviews done here on Triple B TV and uh, on Triple B TV, not here on the vlog. It's gonna be a few months before it comes out because we're, you know, we got a lot of footage for, for other interviews from Pomona and the Herberton talks and whatnot, but I highly recommend you check it out. It was a really good one and uh, we're kind of wrapping up the show here in Canada. This was a bit of a shorter video. I'm guessing since I haven't edited yet, it could end up being 27 minutes long. Who knows? We won't until I edit. So I don't know why I try to talk about how long a video is until it's actually done. My point is that Canada has been amazing. I can't wait till the next time we get to come back here, which hopefully would be next year because uh, it's a good time hanging out with friends that we've known for a long time, friends that we've just met, friends that we've known for a little bit. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys have a great day. And uh, until we see you again, many, many alohas to you and your families.